Chapter 4 Text Editing in Microsoft Word 2016 Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to Understand different components of word Know about undo and redo commands Recognize various methods to select the text for editing Warm up Observe the logo of the following word processor and write 5 things you know about it. Teachers note Apprise students that MS Word is a potent word processor. Take students to the computer lab and tell students to type 5 lines about their favorite festival. Elucidate them to save the file. Hello friends. You studied MS Word 2016 in the previous class. Now let's discover more features of MS Word. The basics of MS Word One of the most widely used word processor produced by Microsoft Corporation is MS Word. We can quickly and conveniently create, read, change and share files. It comes in the Word 2010, Word 2013, Word 2016 and Word 2019 versions. The following are the uses of MS Word 2016. It allows you to copy and move the text from one location to another. It permits you to create letters, resumes and notices in an orderly manner. It lets you to edit the text after typing. It enables you to preview the text before printing. Various components of MS Word Quick Access Toolbar The Quick Access Toolbar is a command line that appears on the top left corner of the MS Word window. From this toolbar, we can quickly perform some tasks like save, undo and redo. This toolbar can be customized to our needs and gives access to frequently used features and functions such as quick print, open recent files, etc. Do you know? To create a shortcut of Word 2016, Drag its icon to the desktop. Title Bar The title bar is next to the quick access toolbar. It shows the name of the document which is opened. By default, the name of any new Word document is Document 1. Tabs The buttons located below the quick access toolbar and the title bar are tab. The most widely used tabs are the Home tab, Insert tab, Design tab, Layout tab, Mailing tab and Review tab. The Home tab is the default tab in Microsoft Word. It has 5 groups of related commands. Clipboard, Font, Paragraph, Styles and Editing. Ribbon It is below the tab buttons. All the 7 tabs in the ribbon have a specific group of related commands. The image given below shows the command under the insert tab. Several functions such as adding shapes, text box, clip art, cover page, header and footer etc. Can be inserted into a document using these commands. Document area the document area is the blank or white section of a MS Word that allows the user to create content. When a document is opened, you can begin typing and your text appears in the document. When a saved document is opened, the text is already present and we can edit the text. Status Bar the status bar is the area at the bottom of the word window that indicates information about the current document. It displays information about what page you are on, your line number and your character number on the line. It also shows the total number of words in the document as well as the language used in the text. Zoom Slider it is in the lower right corner of MS Word. 
it is available for zooming in and out of documents quickly and easily the plus sign is clicked to zoom in on the document and the minus sign is clicked to zoom out of the document how to type in ms word points to remember while typing 1 leave one space between words 2 enter to be pressed only after completing a line or a paragraph 3 press the shift key and the alphabet key to type capital letters alternatively we can turn on the caps lock key type the letters and then press the key once again to turn it off 4 always remember to save your file after some time let me answer what points do you keep mind while writing selecting text if we want to make changes in the text type such as textile color size alignment etc then we need to select the line word or paragraph we want to edit selecting a word to select a single word quickly double click that word alternatively place the cursor at the beginning and drag the mouse pointer over the word selecting lines a line in a document can be selected in following ways to select a line of text place your cursor at the start of the line and press shift plus down arrow or place the cursor at the beginning of the line and drag the pointer over the line set the mouse pointer at the beginning of a line then click the left mouse button selecting a paragraph we can select a paragraph in a document by clicking on a text section three times with the left mouse button selecting the entire document the whole document can be selected by placing the cursor at the initial of the document and pressing ctrl a or by pressing the shift plus ctrl plus and key combination undo and redo commands undo actions undo erases the last change done to the document reverting it to an older state click undo on the quick access toolbar if you want to undo multiple steps press undo or ctrl z repeatedly redo actions the redo commands restores what we just did if you want to redo an action you have undone click redo on the quick access toolbar deleting the text a line word or a paragraph in the document can be deleted in the following ways press the delete key while the cursor is positioned to the left of the letter or character you want to remove select the word you want to delete then press the delete key if you want to delete a paragraph select the paragraph by clicking thrice and press the delete key remember it press ctrl plus delete and ctrl plus backspace key combinations to delete one word to right or left respectively get psycho raman was asked by his teacher to write paragraph on plants however he wrote some irrelevant information as well now the teacher asked him to delete how will you help him to do this let's recall microsoft word is one of the most popular word processors developed by microsoft corporation a word processor allows us to edit insert and format the text ms word components comprise of quick access toolbar tabs ribbons document area zoom slider status bar etc undo and redo command reverses our last action and repeats our last action respectively upskill your intelligence a fill in the blanks one microsoft word is developed by dash answer microsoft corporation 
still we can dash the text before printing answer preview 3 the title bar is next to the dash answer quick access toolbar 4 the quick access toolbar is a dash line answer command 5 the home tab is the dash tab in microsoft word answer default b answer the following questions 1 what is the use of the title bar answer the title bar is next to the quick access toolbar it shows the name of the document which is opened by default the name of any new document is document 1 2 differentiate between undo and redo actions answer undo undo erases the last change done to the document reverting it to an older state redo the redo command restores what we just did 3 write three uses of ms word 2016 answer 1 it allows you to copy and move the text from one location to another. 2. It permits you to create letters, resumes and notices in an orderly manner. 3. It lets you edit the text after typing. 4. How do we select a paragraph? Answer. We can select a paragraph in a document by clicking on a text section three times with the left mouse button. 5. Which component of MS Word allows you to zoom in or out of the document? Answer. Zoom slider component of MS Word allows you to zoom in or out of the document. C. Write T for true statements and F for false statement. 1. A zoom slider is the blank or white section of a MS Word. Answer. False. 2. Mailing tab is one of the most widely used tabs. Answer. False. 3. We can quickly perform some tasks like undo, redo from the quick access toolbar. Answer True 4. MS Word does not let you edit the text after typing. Answer False 5. By default, the name of any new Word document is new. Answer False D. Match the following Match 1. Title bar with B Match 2. Ribbon with D Match 3 Document Area with A Match 4 Capital Letter with C E. Label the components of the MS Word Answer Do it yourself Critical Thinking A. Nea has typed a letter in MS Word to be submitted to her teacher her sister came and by mistake she deleted the entire letter. Now, which command should she use to get back the letter? Answer Do it yourself. B. Find out the tab name available on the MS Word window in the grid given below. Answer Layout Insert Design Home Team work. Write a paragraph in MS Word on my favorite toy. Save your document with the name of your toy. Take a printout of it and paste it in your notebook. Answer. Do it yourself.